everyone. I'm Virginia Taylor and welcome to the Minnesota Genealogy Center. The center is home of the Hoffman Library and headquarters of the Minnesota Genealogical Society and its partner organizations like us, SGSM. When you come to the center, you will be asked to sign in and you will be placing your coats, jackets, and purses, bags in these lockers. The library is open Wednesdays and Saturdays from 10 to 4 and Thursdays 10 to 8 p.m. However, it's a good idea to check with the MGS website to see if they are open. Maybe there's a weather issue or some other issue. We don't want you to be disappointed, so please check that out first. If you are an MGS or just a member, you do not have to pay the $10 library I use fee. Okay. Now let's go and check out this library. The reference desk is staffed, staffed with a, a library volunteer to assist you in any help you need with using the library. Over here, we have the SGSM uh, Church Microfilm Collection, and the uh, reader is right next to us. Jan Carlson will be explaining more in detail on the use of these microfilms further on in the program. There's lots of space to spread out when you're doing your research, so please come and visit us. Here we have all the computers for your research and I want to show you one place where you really want to come and visit. This is a new resource we have for you. Uh, on these uh, computers we have just purchased a lot of Swedish databases that I know you'll want to uh, research on and um, Later on in the program, Bob Johnson is going to explain in more detail what we have and how to use these databases. And I want to mention that MGS is uh, an affiliate of the Family Search Library. Uh, you will be able to access a lot of their records that you can access at home. That's a real plus. It's wonderful. Uh, there are a lot of nooks and crannies in this library, like any library has, so please come and visit us and look what we have. We're going to go through some of the shelving right now. Follow me. Aisles 1, 2, and 3 have published um, family histories. Now I am a firm believer in, of writing your family histories down and um, I think if you have any doubt about whether you should write your family history out or not, come here and look at a few of these and you will be so inspired that you will want to do it and your family will love you for doing this. This is a real gift for your family. Aisles three and four here um, they have Minnesota specific uh, books and information. Uh, down here we have um, the uh, Minnesota counties and information on Minneapolis and St. Paul are separate within here. But this is a very good resource for Minnesota research, this aisle here. Aisles five and six that here are for other parts of the U.S. Yes, all over. And aisles nine to fourteen are foreign county collections 
of the other genealogy societies at the Minnesota Genealogy Center. Now, if we go to aisle 12, we can see what SGSM has in their collection. All right, here we are. This is our collection here, and the MGS Swedish collection is right next door to it. Uh, we are always adding to our collection, and if you want to donate any books, we are will be so appreciative. However, please send us a list of what you want to donate so we can see if we have the book already, or if it's something we really, really want. Um, we really appreciate that. And please don't, Come in the door with an arm load of books and saying, here is GSM, I have some books for you. Um, please inform us uh, via email first and we'll let you know and we'll take care of the rest of it. Thank you so much in advance for your donation. Really appreciate it. And I must say, um, I can't go into any specific books. There's such a variety here. If you go on our website, uh, go into the, okay, library and archives page on our first page then go from that page to the media type on the top of that page and you can click and see what we have in our complete book collection our complete um, church collection church record collection and also our mac collection so we have everything available on the website for you to see and um, see what you want we've got it all on our website but please, donate your books. We'd love to see what you've got. Follow me. We're going to go and look at the map collection right now. The map collection is an underused resource. It's not going to help your genealogy per se. But it's kind of fun to see exactly where in Sweden your ancestors were living. So let's go look. I, we have two uh, drawers full of maps. And, uh, uh, there's a booklet in each drawer that explains how to find the map you need. And uh, yes, find the map you need. And we have translations of the keys that show what is on the map. It explains everything, where the ruins are, where the ruin stones are, and other really good, interesting stuff. The maps are all listed in here. We have over 300 maps. Uh, they don't cover all of Sweden, but most of it. So um, when you use these maps, take them out but don't try to refile them. Uh, one of the library volunteers will gladly do that for you. But let me show you. This top cover has some of the, the large maps. They're very detailed. They show a lot. Very detailed, show terrain, where old church ruins are. Trails. Interesting map. I'm a map lover, so I just love these Swedish maps. Um, this is one of our very, <laughs> very, very large maps, but it will show you which map to look for. They're all marked. Hopefully you know where, where your ancestors were, but you can always check it out. We're so lucky to have these maps. So please use it. They're fun to go through. It's not intimidating. I tried to make this booklet as easy as possible to follow so you could find the right map. So no problem. Please use the maps. Um, Anyway, that's 
that's it. It's just a, a light a brush over of what we have in our collections. And later on, uh, John Carlson and Bob Johnson are going to explain more in detail uh, some of our collections. And I thank you so much for coming on this tour with me. Please use this library. We just love it, and I know you are going to love it also. Thank you so much.